Hello everyone, my name is Camjack and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a bit of a different one and that video tile most likely has you thinking, Jack, what are you even talking about? Well, don't worry, I'm going to tell you exactly what it is. So, we've all been there. We've wanted to play this super cool game and then suddenly realised our computer is not up to scratch for it. Which sucks as a gamer, I've been there, you've probably been there as well. The solution? Spend shed loads on a big gaming PC which might take ages to save up. Or, check out Shadow. So what is Shadow, you are asking? Well, it's basically a supercharged gaming PC accessible on any device. Yes, that does mean you can play PC games on your tablet. Crazy, right? Before I do go any further into this video, I do want to let you know of one thing, and that is that this video is not sponsored by the Shadow team. However, there is an affiliate code in the description which does get you 10% off Shadow subscription, and I receive a small portion of that. Just to be clear and transparent with you. Now I've worked for Shadow for a few months now and I love them as a company. They even let me present for them at EGX, which was a bit crazy to be honest. Thanks guys. Anyway, back to the tech. So Shadow frees you from the constraints of physical hardware, meaning you can play the top games, like Space Engineers, on that device you previously could not run the game on. In my case, it was a MacBook Pro. You can see my previous video where I basically said uh, I traded out my old gaming laptop, quote unquote, for a MacBook Pro but unfortunately I couldn't play any games on it and that really suck when you know you're stuck in a hotel room on a work trip with nothing to do and you want to play some of your favourite games. This is where Shadow comes in. I actually discovered this through another YouTuber, believe it or not, and decided to check it out and reach out to the team and ask if I could play with it and they said yes, so that's where this entire idea came from. So, Shadow allows me to play games on a device that previously could not play games. It basically, like it says in the description, turns any device into a supercharged gaming PC. And I'm not even talking about playing Space Engineers, I can play Battlefield 1 on some of these devices. It is amazing. If you can think of some super awesome game you love playing, then there's a 99% chance it can definitely play on a Shadow. I would say 100%, but some games are weird, so you can definitely check it out. In my case, I obviously play Spaces on the most things, it's the main game I sort of play, so I can now play Spaces on a MacBook. Pro. If you want to check out that dedicated video then uh, it'll be a link in the description to where you can go and watch it, but for today we're going to be focusing on this one. So today I'm going to be showing you me playing Space Engineers on an outdated Windows laptop. Give some early details, this laptop is nowhere close to being anything gaming related. It's made entirely for doing paperwork and watching funny videos online. It's basically a budget laptop you'd find a student having or something like that. You can pick it up down any good computer shop for about 200 to 300 quid. They're not made to be super powerful, they're made to open word and uh, look a bit flashy for people who don't really understand technology. So using Shadow, we're going to turn this into a supercharged gaming PC and play Space Engineers on it. Now, originally I was going to benchmark how well this laptop performed against the Shadow PC. However, the laptop we are testing Shadow on today can't actually run Space Engineers as it does not meet the minimum system requirements. I tried installing it via Steam. It wouldn't have any of it, unfortunately. So instead, we're just going to go off what FPS we're getting on Shadow today compared to what we're not getting on the um, laptop PC. To give you an idea of a laptop, it's got an Intel Core i3 5005U that's clocked at 2 gigahertz with 3 megabyte cache. Uh, it's got Intel HD graphics at 5,500 and not very much uh, memory, not even a gig of um, video memory on board. It's only got 4 gigabytes of DDR3 memory as well. Now when we look at Space Engineers, these are the minimum requirements on screen now for Space Engineers. It obviously requires an Intel i5 clocked at 3 gigahertz or higher or an AMD equivalent. It also requires 8 gigabytes of RAM and also requires a dedicated graphics card somewhere around about GeForce 750. I do believe that um, some of the Intel integrated graphics, especially the latest ones, will work with Space Engineers like that, but you're not going to get the best you ever were looking for, so you kind of need a dedicated PC. Luckily for us, the Shadow PC comes with a 1080 or an equivalent graphics card, an Intel Xeon processor, and I believe up to 12 gigs of memory. The specs for Shadow should be on screen now, so you can take a look and see how well it compares. Okay, with that over, I wanted to reply to some of the comments in my previous video. So Sonic asks, have I tried any gaming controls with Shadow and what ones will work at the moment? Well, I don't play Space Engineers with a controller as that would be quite difficult. However, I was recently playing Forza yesterday on a Shadow with an Xbox One gamepad. As far as I know, other controllers work as well. So check our website, uh, shadow.tech, if you are confused about what controllers work. I think most of them should work by now, but I can definitely tell you that the Xbox One gamepad does. Now a few of you did have questions about the internet speed required to connect to Shadow and stream all of the epicness back to yourself. Per Shadow's recommendation, you require 15 megabytes to work properly. If you have a super fast internet speed, then this will work wonders for yourself. 
Now I've actually found out you can connect to Shadow via mobile networks such as 4G as well. I have attempted this before using my own phone and connecting it or tethering it to my MacBook to then connect to Shadow and play spaces. I did this at EGX when we were staying in our hotel. It worked kind of well, not the best. Well, that's what you have to expect from a 4G network, but it shows there is a possibility there if you do have super fast mobile um, connectivity, which hopefully I might do soon. So last time a few comments noted about tech upgrades, well a shadow handles this all for you, meaning you're never going to be left behind the times, and will always be able to play the latest video games on your shadow system. Part of your subscription includes free component upgrades, so basically they upgrade them when and where time shift forward. At the minute, as I showed earlier, the specs are extremely powerful for what they are at this time. You've got a 1080, you've got an Intel Xeon, 12GB of RAM, it's kind of what you need at the minute, which is quite good. So how do you go about getting yourself set up? Simply click the invite link in the video description and follow the instructions on the page. Once you've purchased and all signed up, you're all set to go. One of the benefits I find amazing about Shadow is you're not locked into any sort of contract. So if you subscribe today, you can cancel at any time, which I find as a consumer is awesome because it means I can leave whenever I want. I'm not tied into some year long contract where I'm paying for something when I don't really want it. So if you do end up getting it today, you're not too keen on it, you can cancel at any time and they even save it on their website, it's perfect. So why am I showing this product to you? Well for once I get that everyone does not have a super powerful PC, so that's why I like the idea of Shadow. It allows you to play the games I make videos on right now. Hopefully some of you watching this might find it interesting as well as being useful to yourselves. I currently use Shadow when I record some of my own YouTube videos as it allows me to have a secondary camera POV in games like Space Engineers. Those of you who have watched our previous series, Space Engineers Conley Survival, will remember at certain points I did have an overview camera hovering around in the series. That was actually filmed on Shadow as I don't really have a secondary PC so Shadow works as that and allows me to film on it. That will be so that our brilliant internet speed and upload times made transferring a video back to my editing PC extremely fast. So that's what I use it for. I know some of you have commented on a previous video saying you actually use Shadow to play Space Engineers. So if you do, I invite you to talk about your experiences in the comments with others and help anyone else out who might be confused. That kind of wraps it up for my video on Shadow today. Remember, the invite link down below in the description will get you a percentage off your subscription price if you do want to get into Shadow today. And I highly recommend you check it out if it's something you'd consider. Well guys, I've been Cam Jack. Thank you for watching. I will catch you next time. Goodbye.